Hello, all you lovely people at Evergreen Terrace. This is another episode of our weekly dose where we tell you all the things that have been going on in the community this week. Um, with me, like always, is Moss. Yeah, hello to the people. And on to our first thing on our list to tell you about today. Uh, it's another thing about the lobbies. We've talked in uh, part of weekly doses about it. Uh, but in the last week or so, we've had a massive influx of people uh, wanting to come and play lobbies with us, which is really great. Uh, names such as Omni has played quite a few lobbies with us. Uh, Munchkin started his first few lobbies, which he really enjoyed. Uh, we've had Nerbal, Deweed, Gain, and Umos as well. Over the last few days, I've done tons of lobbies. I've played quite a few with you, which has been uh, been really good. Um, unfortunately, yeah, the stats are down for lobbies at the moment, so you can't. Uh, which uh, <laughs> I get a bit annoyed about, but um. If anybody, if anybody from TF2 lobby sees this, or anybody is related to them, please, guys, bring up the stats. I need them so badly. I, my stats account at six games right now, and I've done twenty. I've twenty in the last two days. Bring them back to me. I need them so badly. Sorry for break. <laughs> sorry for breaking. <laughs> yeah, once you start the lobbies, you realise how important those stats are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so if. Any people watching this uh, who haven't tried lobbies out and still want to, then uh, talk to us and join our lobbies. Add us as a friend on Steam. And also, you can also see who are looking for lobbies as well on the tftlobby.com. If you go onto the homepage of the website, there's a small widget in the, uh, like a small box in the bottom right hand corner, uh, which has a list of your Steam friends. Um, well, not your Steam friends, but people who were online in lobby at that time. And it will highlight your Steam friends who are online. As long as you're logged in, you've got to make sure you log in through Steam first. But uh, it will show you who on your Steam list are online. And then you can go talk to them in Steam and say, come join a lobby with me. And we will. And also talk to me or Moss if you want to, to make you a lobby, you know, start a lobby. So we're always happy to do that. Yep. So yeah, add people on Steam and join the lobbies. Yeah, add more people from EGT to play lobbies together. Yeah, that's yes. quite a cool and not thing. Even, not even just for lobbies, just add people from the Steam community, our uh, our community yes. on Steam, because yes. that's what we're there for. We're here that's to make a, friends. It's a, it. Yeah, it's a big thing for 2013, sticking more together, and more people should add other people from the EGT. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Yes, we um, need more friends. About a place where the stats are working pretty good because it's one of our places, it's an EGT place, it's two new servers. Uh, we did a setup for a randomizer server and for a versus Sexton Hale server. And they are quite cool if you've never been to a modification uh, like these two both. Just hop over to the servers, you will find the IP in the Steam group like always. I updated that information and we hope to get a pretty bunch of regulars on these servers like we have on Balloon Race and we have on Orange. And one point of these servers, uh, one thing that is so great is Munchkin and Quantum picked up the map rotations for these both servers. Munchkin did it for the randomizer server, Quantum did it for the versus Sexton Hale server, and the big advantage in this is there's finally two people who like to play these modifications and they are known to it and they know servers where they can go and sneak a little in to get the, to see which maps are good and which we could use for our own rotation. Um, that is work that is quite intense and uh, it, it takes some knowledge about the modification itself and it takes the, 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 I want to do that, I want to play it. And I've never been good in picking up maps for every modification because I don't play every modification out on the market by myself. So thank you very much Munchkin for doing that for the randomizer. Thank you very much um, Quantum doing that for the versus Saxon Hale. Great work and yeah. If you like to see the map rotation changed or some other maps inside, maybe you should talk to them directly as we mentioned, add them in Steam. Yes, thanks very much, uh, those two for doing that. I'll uh, definitely have a check out of the two servers in the next few days. But uh, on to the next thing. We've uh, mentioned it before again in the weekly days uh, a couple of weeks ago, but uh, it's the ongoing raffles that Nerbal hosts. Uh, yeah. We're into week four this time. Uh, it's going really well. He's getting a lot more people joining them, which is always really good. That's what we want. People wanting free stuff. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not hard. But yeah, uh, week four, I believe he's giving away a lot of pyro items, which uh, is very good. Obviously, it's the best raffle so far, because pyro is the best class in TFT. <laughs> um, we both agree happens... about that. <laughs> yes, and I'm sure everyone else does as well. But um, 
he's also giving away one of my favorite hats which is a brigade hem and a ton of other weapons you uh, will need to play pyro properly which is always really good so if you haven't tried pyro and you want to this is like a, a great starter set and even if you are good at pyro and don't have all the weapons it's a uh, a good thing to enter so yeah enter the raffle uh, the, all the stuff is in our uh, steam group uh, under the events section for the raffle um, and also another note about the raffles, if you wish to donate any items or games or anything else for the raffle, uh, then hit up Nerbal on Steam. Uh, if you don't have him, just add him. He's in the Steam group. Um, we want to see him have as many friends as possible. <laughs> no. um, the, list, the list goes up to 300 and we want yeah, to see you so everybody add Nerbal. <laughs> you being the 300 and Nerbal's friends list <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah so if you want to donate anything um, we're always happy to accept donations uh, talk to Nerbal because we actually have an, a separate account to uh, hold all the items for the raffles uh, which this morning has been given um, trade being able to trade which is really good so no more will you see the on tf2raffle.com you won't see dummy items we can actually put up exactly what you're going to win in the raffle uh, which is always really good and um, you'll be able to trade trade the items over uh, yeah. which is great so yeah before you move, before you move over to the next topic uh, which is also one of yours uh, i want to mention we handed out our Nerbal handed out all the missing winner items as the account become tradable today. So I think all the people from the past raffles who didn't get their items by now because the account was not able to trade should got their items right now. I think Noble reached them all to hand them out. So hooray. Yes. Go on. Yeah, I managed to uh, grab my day to two items, which I'm very thankful for. That was uh, cool. Uh, there's a forums game, which you wanted to talk about. Oh, yes. Yes, sorry. I've uh, deleted it for some reason. But uh, yeah, back onto the forums. Uh, you may remember it from ages ago now. But uh, we had a, a cool forum game called The Game Game. Uh, if you don't know about it, it's basically someone who posts up a usually three by three um, kind of picture. It uh, will have nine different games on, uh, but only kind of small images relating to that game. And they can be a tiny relation to the game, you know, like a zoom in of someone's chest and other people have to guess what the games are mm -hmm. on this list and the person who guesses the most of them will win and uh, this week because we're trying to uh, get as many people playing this game again as well because uh, it's it's really fun um, especially making them as well if you win you get to make <laughs> the next one which yep. is always a fun thing to do um, I believe uh, we're actually giving away a key for the next five who win one's already been won so there's four to grab uh, over the next game games so if you haven't seen it, go onto the forums and you'll see it under there. And yeah, have a go at that because it's a really fun game, especially if you know your video games quite well. Um, there's a lot of old kind of retro games coming up and new games, and yeah, it's all it's good fun. It's uh, yeah. it can get frustrating if you don't know them, but uh, I think I think Fish took already one win and one key of it. So as you mentioned, it's uh, four keys left for the next four winners. And the keys will be handed out at the moment when you when the winner posts the next riddle for the people to solve, uh, to keep the flow in it. Uh, yeah. Um, next topic is one of mine, so I should talk about it's donations. Yeah. Um, I'm very sad because a community can't run out of love and being nice, so uh, the servers have to be paid. I'm doing this uh, right now on my own. It's it's fine. I want to want to pay them and I started all of this and I'm pretty comfortable with it and there's no no point I want to stop this because I don't get donations right now and I'm, I was not asking for them uh, the last year we had a small donations buttons anywhere and I get got some donations thank you very much um, to the people who already donated in 2012 but as it's it's looking like the community will go on and go on and go on for more and more years I slowly want to bring the theme of donating and donating regular even if it's very small amounts um, each amount helps um, to the EGTs please think about what you can do I don't want to empty your pockets uh, that you can't buy food anymore or stuff like that but there might be people who just got a man like you sold something on eBay and you got a PayPal uh, income 
out of that selling and you say, hey, why not giving a small amount of it to the EGT because uh, they need to pay their servers. Uh, I did set up a monthly thing with chip in. You will find it on the home page and you will find it on the message of the day on the server, which is the start page you see when you join our servers. And it's easy by that. Just click on the click, 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 click on the chip in button and you will be redirected to your PayPal and you can enter an amount you want to donate for that. Um, as I mentioned, the servers and all that stuff, it will be free for, for everyone all the time. But we would take donations and what in the worst case can happen is we're giving away more stuff. We're giving away more games and we're giving away more keys and stuff uh, if we receive donations. And it just makes us a little happy to see that people want to participate. Um, yeah. I should stop talking about donations <laughs> now. <laughs> so the next part. Go on, mate. Yes. Uh, Free me is... from the donations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is quite a cool thing that could be happening this evening. Uh, we're not entirely sure. But uh, if you know Critscast, I'm sure a lot of you do. Um, they're one of the biggest podcasts in TFT and one of the biggest groups. Um, they do a weekly podcast about everything happening in TFT, much like this weekly dose, but on a wide <laughs> TFT scale. Um, a bit, a bit, a little bigger than we are. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, but they're all really cool guys. And they've recently started doing a thing uh, which they call the Community Invasion, um, which us as the EGT have decided to enter. Uh, what basically the idea of it is, is that communities put their, um, their servers up, they um, submit the server to onto the Critscast forums, and the Critscast will look at these servers and decide each week that they're all going to invade with their Steam group uh, one of these servers. So all the big Steam uh, Critscast names, um, Agro, Helene, and everyone else, you know, you probably know a couple of them, Rusky, um, will join the community servers. And along with, they put a note out to all their 27,000 uh, Steam group members. Um, so yeah, it could get a bit busy. It can. Uh, um, to say, join this server, we're invading this community, um, which is really cool because it kind of gives every interest a lot more, uh, we're more known, a lot more people, new people will be joining the server. Uh, so that could be happening tonight. We're not 100% uh, sure, I don't think. But, no, um, no, we're not. But that's the that's the glory of it. It's a spontaneous yeah. joining. And uh, so, yeah, if you, um, it, it depends on how much notice we get. We might throw an event up on the uh, Steam group page. Uh, but if not, it's probably going to be on the uh, the payload server. So if you want to join in, then I'll probably get in there early. It could get a bit busy. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to it. It's going to be really fun. Another way to get informed on which Wednesday they will come to us is just join the Critscast group because they will <laughs> yeah. uh, they will put an event up when they're doing it. That event will go on live uh, five minutes before they join our servers. That's uh, just a real invasion, a short time invasion, not be announced long before. And yes. Uh, I will try to put up an event as well in our lovely Steam group. The last topic of today's weekly dose is about one thing we will do as the first time we're doing this ever. It will be so cool. We're doing an admin meeting tomorrow, which uh, doesn't affect most of the people watching this, but uh, it's only for your information. We try to stick together a little bit better. Um, we started out with two admins uh, a year ago, and now we're around, I think, including the guests, I invited eight people yesterday for, for tomorrow. And we will meet in TeamSpeak. We will try to coordinate things a little bit better for 2013. We will try to get known to each other a little bit better that we can uh, share share our knowledge about what's going on and be a better EGT, including all the stuff, doing stuff for the other members. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited what, what we will get out of it. Um, the agenda for it is, is, is growing, my list is growing, and I hope we will have a meeting about half an hour, an hour, and coolio. Yeah. Yes, it'd be nice to, uh, just a bit more organization, and uh, the more the merrier. I mean, the more people we have, the more cool ideas we'll come up with, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Good. So, that's it for the weekly dose. We both share for seeing you here, and bye-bye mm -hmm. from me. Yeah, thanks for watching.